Hello everyone, I'm Alf Melvalentine.com welcome to Doorways Holy Mountains of Flesh. This is the next chapter in the Doorway series and things are getting even darker and more mysterious as it goes on. Now as you can see next to name, it has launched on early access today, which means it's not completely done. It does make me wonder, considering the chapters have such a short interval between each other, Maybe it would have been better to just wait a bit more to put it out, but hell, I liked the last one a bit. It wasn't my cup of tea, but I did have some really good redeeming factors. Now the game isn't combat based at all really, it's mostly exploration mystery where you have to try and solve what's going on. And judging by the ambient music right here and sounds, well, things have taken a turn for the worst. Now it's developed by Cywat Studios and it's on Steam right now in early access. Check out the link in the description if you want to see more. So, let's get straight in and show you what it's like, shall we? The village school seemed way too large for a town like this. It was a wrecked, torn down building seemingly abandoned years ago. The ruins show signs that El Chacal's population had grown in the past years. But something made it fall into decline at some point. Maybe the answer lay in the Taurus family rise to power. Now for those who don't know, Doorways and Earth usually involves a special agent sent to go and investigate these paranormal and strange activities. They're an agency dedicated just to that, which is really interesting. But for some reason, they never have guns when they start their missions, or anything to defend themselves with. It would be nice if we had some sort of weapon. Hmm, the game does have a bit of a fish eye to it. Maybe it's because the resolution is just absolutely humongous. So, inventory. Let's see. N for notes. I don't have any notes yet, or any items, or any relics. I ain't got nothing, so let's close that. Hmm. Well, I can't understand any of that. Yeah, the game is quite a bit of a fish eye at this high resolution. I think its FOV might be a bit too high. Let's try and lower that, shall we? Because the options are kind of limited. Oh, that that seems better. It's still got a time, but a fish eye, even at 80 FOV. Interesting. That could be part of them. This game, it's all about atmosphere, really. All of this stuff in the game is related to atmosphere. Like in here, listen. You can hear them, like people talking, like as if there was a class going on. That breaker has been pulled off. So I've got a screwdriver at least. Now the reason this is usually not my type of game is because I can't defend myself. Wow. Okay, flashback time. That is kind of creepy. But not super bad. And then there's some squishy things down here. Some liquid. Hmm. One thing that is nice is the games always run quite well. I've got the game at its max settings, and it's doing a grand job. Well, it sounds like something came at the kids, anyway. And I have to say, this is a pretty damn big-ass school. Judging from the size of the buildings and everything, it's bigger than the school I went to. <laughs> Go! So, uh, can I use the screwdriver on that? I cannot. That's kind of rather disappointing. Hmm. Hmm. The problem with these games that always ones is you can't show too much and go in too deep, otherwise you spoil almost everything. Because it is a very story driven game. There's another black puddle thing there. Is this where I started, was it not? No. Okay, let's try the screwdriver here. See if we can maybe pry open the door with it. 
Nope. And this is where we came in anyway. I probably should have looked around a bit more. How did I even get in here? That's a, a an abyss down there from the looks of things. So to drag things is usually with a right click as far as I remember. If it highlights it. The character makes an awful lot of noise. Come on. you think a special agent would be able to like break down that door at least, you know? That's like bolted up. So we're probably gonna try and go towards that emergency fire escape there. No. And I don't have a flashlight. Wow, the music's getting pretty darn intense right there, is it not? Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty damn creepy game. What are you at? What are you playing at? Hmm. Well, I've got a hand to Cybot Studios. They certainly know how to build up tension and atmosphere. That's one thing with the doorways games. They always manage that. I, I'm not good with this type of game, but hell. Ah, now I can open that door. Ah, oh, gotcha. Can I pick that back up, smack someone with it? No. So I want to keep as many doors and things open as I can for now. In case something decides to have a go at me. I still need to try and find the key for this. Hmm. Oh, here's a door I managed to miss for the library. Oh, a note. A product of a mistake. Vestige of the Torres family incestuous relationship. Clinging to shadows, Geronimo lived in his own world. Like a cockroach, expectant of what was happening outside. Among other qualities, he was mentally retarded and deformed. Those two were the seeds that gave fruit to his resentfulness upon everyone. Especially towards kids. Pain is the father of hate. And behind his harmless expression, pain and hate were the only two emotions he seemed to know. Still, the Taurus's son didn't deserve any kind of mercy. This is the conclusion I've arrived at after discovering what was happening inside that school. Well, that's a pretty harsh letter to write, Mr. Geronimo. Pretty darn harsh. But at least the voice acting is still top notch. I like it. Need a flashlight. Because things are. Fuck me. Hello? Oh, bugger off. Fuck, that looked like something straight out of dead space. What is that? What is that? Screwdriver! Fucking stab you in the eye. Tell you what, son. The things always have to lie in the creepiest of positions, don't they? It's like perfectly set up with the little light there. It's like, I see you. I see you. Probably close the door, damn you. Close it. Oh no. Well, at least the lights still work. Oh. I'm not going into the toilets. Oh, this doesn't look good. Principal's office. 
I, I don't understand Spanish. Baby Demi Sangue. I think that's how you say it ain't everything. <gasps> Screwdriver! Screwdriver, you're finally useful, son. Ha! Wow, you're certainly taking your sweet time. Alright, lights are on in there. Lights are on the restroom. Cool. Doesn't look like the lights are on in there. It does not look like the lights are on in there. Oh, gross. Oh. Oh. That's locked. Someone went kind of cray cray in here. Yeah, at least the lights are on now. Just didn't look like it at first. There is that lamp. What is if the agents that never have any weapons? So that was the first library. Now I still need to try and find that key. Where would I find that? Where? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, where did that thingy my bob go? The dead space critter. Well, I didn't hear the kids playing out here anymore, for some reason. Which is even weirder, I guess. Oh, bugger off, game! What's that for? What you gonna do that for? What you gonna do that for? Why are you turning off the lights over there? Being a dick. Damn dick. Don't be a dick. Can I, can I, no. Actually, do I still have my screwdriver? I don't. Why did you go and get rid of it? Why? Oh great. A very, very dark room. Whoa! Whoa! Don't trust it. Don't trust anything. Hmm. Yeah, this game's atmosphere is kind of weird. Weird in the sense that it wants to feck with your head. Oh, actually, you should probably have a look at the flagpole thingy. You never know what could be hidden somewhere. Nope, can't get up there. Okay. Doom. Can't go there. Wait, so I thought that was a wall on this side. There isn't. Oh, there's a door. Oh, it's a door that leads into here. Okay, so I've come full circle. I still don't know how to get through though, because I need a key for that. Because that grate or cage or whatever the hell the thing is, is that's on that door is like super strong. So it's probably in here somewhere, the key. His offices are pretty damn bland. Principal's office again. Let's have a look. He had the light switches. Not much else. What's that to say, actually? Might be a clue. Knowing these games, I'm probably gonna have to write these down and have a look. No idea what any of that means. That's blocked. You can see the plank of wood on top of it.
This is one heck of a big ass bathroom stall. Give them that much, yo. Nope. Hmm. Kind of stuck. I'm 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 really How am I stuck? Already. I did better in the last Dory's game. This is disappointing. It's built up its atmosphere and everything really well. It just started the story and I got myself stuck. There's a hallway there of something. But I can't get to there. That's very disappointing. Well, folks, I, I guess I'm going to have to leave it here for now. I don't want to spend hours just walking around in circles trying to find where I'm running by something. Maybe you actually managed to spot it in the video and I didn't spot the very obvious thing. If you did, why don't you put it in the comment below? I'll be glad to take a look and if you like what you saw so far, which isn't that much, maybe you want to check out the game. Well, the link's in the store description for Steam in the video description at the bottom. So, I'm Al, thanks for watching everyone. And happy doorways opening. Bees, bees. Bees. Not the bees. <laughs> I can see the bees as I'm getting close. Uh, yeah, we just got a little water. water. <laughs> this looks like a job. Protect <laughs> 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 the bees. Protect the bees. Are we focusing the beekeeper?